Hey there Seekers, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly tarot reading. I'm back. I had a couple of weeks off with family. Um, I just needed to reset and refresh and I'm feeling much better and really looking forward to bringing you plenty of tarot readings now. Just to let you know guys, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. All the links are below the video and also the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading for yourself. I am available for those and distance healing, healing sessions as well. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share the video, hit the subscribe button before you head off guys. I would be so grateful for that. It really helps the videos travel further. So I'm wishing you a week full of love and magic. Let's head to your reading. Hi there Sagittarius, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly intuitive reading for June 14th through to the 20th. Hope you're well Saggy. let's see what may be on the cards for you. Getting started with the Workula Oracle as per usual, then be going to the Moonchild Tarot for an overarching tarot energy before going to the Rider Waite and the Starchild Tarot Akashic for the tarot positions. Okay, let's do the Oracles Saggy. first one out was birthing a new age maybe you're dreaming of a new creation wanting to launch something into the world a business idea maybe dreaming of a perfect soul partnership beautiful home whatever it is it says that it is a really pivotal time for you to take some steps of action towards this and this is coming out so much at the moment this card Sagi. it's like we're in this kind of um, creative vortex at the moment and I've got Break the Chain, Ancestral Patterns, Healing, Rewriting the Future. What may you, may you need to let go of from the past that won't serve you in this vision of birthing a new age? For example, sometimes we want to start a business and we take some steps and then all of a sudden that script starts playing in our mind. Oh, you'll never make it. You're not intelligent enough. You're too old. You're not in the right place. All the things that hold us back, that might be scripts that we have inherited from the family line right that were passed down to us they're not ours to carry in the first place it's saying here that we might need to break the chain and heal one of these stories so that we can actually create a different future because it's the decisions and the energy that we hold in the now that are creating our reality in the future and it could be something in the shadow, you know, the shadow of the parts of ourselves that we have disowned that we don't want to see. Sometimes that's where these kind of stories hang out. We're not even aware that we're running them. In order to heal them, we have to shine the light on them. We have to accept that they are part of us. And that's how we transmute them and change the future reality. Okay, we've got two straight out. I'm going to take those. I've got the Wheel of Fortune, guys, and the King of Swords. Aquarian energy, Jupiter, Jupiterian energy here. This is a destined time for you to break this karmic cycle and to really see the big picture for your life. Some of you are ending a massive karmic cycle. It could be a 10-year cycle for others of you and really beginning to step through the next door, the next chapter of your life. The cards are saying that it's destined timing to birth this new age. The King of Swords, being the card of Aquarius, is about stepping into your king energy, owning it, knowing how to use your authority, being direct and clear, seeing the vision for your life and starting to take the strategic action steps towards that. What do you need to cut yourself free from? What is your truth? And what can you do to further align yourself with that? You might be dealing with an Aquarian as well it's all about you know looking and seeing how the dots have connected and led you to this now moment and then what do you need to do what dots do you need to connect to get to where you really want to go okay Saji. let's see how this plays out calling in the energy of the recent past Energy is leaving, completing, transitioning in your life. What has brought you to this now moment? If this is your reading, Ace of Swords, the sword that the King of Swords holds, the new beginning, the clarity, and the truth that resides within you. Current or focus energy, 
Nine of Pentacles, beautiful. It's a very high vibrational energy. Love that card. Let's get the outcome or result. The moon, Piscean energy there. And temperance, that's your major arcana, Sagi, is at the end of the deck. So you are moving into a greater sense of power. Your vibration is rising. You're stepping towards your truth. But with that moon in the in the reading here, I really feel that that is the sneaky little subconscious script that needs to be broken. We've got the six of pentacles here. Eight of wands. Two of pentacles. The hermit. Let's get one more the ace of wands sorry ace of swords seven of cups and that's interesting that was at the bottom of the deck when it came out the ace of swords we have the ten of swords at the bottom yeah so there's this real energy of cyclic crossover and change here the ten of swords is really about some kind of painful completion that you might be going through some of you are releasing a relationship some of you are releasing maybe a career that's burnt you out, moving away from a place. For others of you, you're really getting really clear on your part, the role that you have played in the things in your life that haven't worked out for you. I mean, it's easy for us to sit there and go, I was dealing with a narcissist, my boss screwed me over, all these kinds of things. But if it is a repeated pattern and a repeated cycle, if it is a chain, what is your part in it? What is your part in it? Maybe you didn't do anything wrong, but if you are allowing these things to happen, right? If you are just, you know, checking out and allowing that to happen, that is playing a role in it. So I really feel there's something to be looked at here. You know, it's really time to shine the light in your dark corners and bring a, a, a firm close to the patterns that might be, that just might be holding you back. What I've got here is the Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. Um, what we're really trying to put an end to here, um, Sagittarius, is the areas of your life that just have not delivered what you've hoped for. The Seven of Cups is this energy of, I've been doing my bit, I've been putting in my effort, but still others disappoint me. Still others do not follow through for me. Why am I keeping on attracting these people, these situations, the jobs that I never get, the promotion, the pay rise, the, the partners that that never you know, follow through or, or do their part, that kind of thing. The Seven of Cups is kind of that energy of you know, buying into the dreams and the fantasies and the illusions. So I ask you again, Sagi, you know, what part do you play in buying into those things and it is time to really get clear ace of swords what do we need to release that is just not cutting it for us right you have the opportunity here for a fresh new start a new ace a new beginning from a place of clarity and when we do it from a place of awareness we break the chain and we don't repeat the cycle the ace of swords is an opportunity to align to your truth right to bring those karmic scales back into balance, Six of Pentacles, it is your time to receive. And we do that by, you know, clearing out, you know, the distractions and really, you know, clearing the slate. The Six of Pentacles can be this energy as well of, you know, being breadcrumbed in life before, just getting the leftovers, not getting what we're, what we're worth. How can we step into that king energy and start to demand, you know, demand our worth Maybe that is your breakthrough, right? Your breakthrough might be the part that you have played in that. So come to power, you will. Nine of pentacles, eight of wands, two of pentacles. But first of all, there's a decision to be made. Two of pentacles is that, you know, that juggler energy where we're juggling that decision. And I feel the decision is around what to what or who to release. But it's really saying here, if you do need to release a job or a partner and step into solo energy for some time, that you will be, you know, shining brightly and doing better than ever. The Nine of Pentacles is the self-sufficient, independent, go-getter energy. 
as somebody who is looking amazing, whose energy has just gone up 10 notches, you know, really confident. So if you are worried about that, don't be, because it really says that, you know, you, you're making a huge move towards receiving, you know, quality into your life again. And what you deserve is coming your way. We just need to make a grounded decision because while we stay in indecision, we can feel, you know, emotionally all over the place. The Eight of Wands is about this point of change, right? There is huge change coming in with that Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. And it's the kind of change that, like the, the Eight of Wands for me as a reader is that doing a 180 in your life kind of energy. It's the kind of change of like, oh my goodness, you know, if you told me six months ago that my life would look like this, I wouldn't have believed you. It's the kind of change that has things looking completely different beyond what you could have, beyond your wildest dream, Seven of Cups. Maybe what you have dreamed of is going to start becoming a reality, but you have to be the one to fall the first domino is what I'm seeing and hearing here. Push that first domino to initiate change. Some of you might be getting some kind of communication or message that is the breakthrough that you need to start off this chain reaction. And that's going to have you claiming this victory, right? The eight of wands can, can be, you know, some kind of message or communication coming in. And then it's going to be just about, you know, processing it all. The moon, temperance, the hermit, triple major arcana. So the, the hermit is this energy of, okay, I've, I've severed the ties. I'm now on my own. And there could be a moment of feeling a little bit lost, right? Maybe even a bit anxious with the moon energy. The, the moon, sorry, the, 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 the what is it? The hermit <laughs> is all about doing some deep soul searching, right? Some reflection, some internal alchemy. You know, you're good at that. That's part of your energy here with temperance. To really figure out the way forward. And that truth is within you. You just need to tease it out here. So at the, you might feel a little bit in the dark, but the more you seek and reflect, then that path forward is going to be illuminated for you. Some of you might be going through different levels of spiritual awakening as well. You know, the hermit really says there could be a bit of a time alone, right? We've got two nines in this reading. It could be nine days, weeks, or months where we're kind of in that space in between, but we need to trust it because... The moon here is saying this is your hidden blessing, right? You may not have all the information, all the pieces are not going to be in place. You know, they're not just going to like back up in this nice little neat order as you'd wanted them to. It's the kind of change that falls into place synchronistically. It's how the Wheel of Fortune has it, right? But it's saying that it's divine timing for this to happen. So we need to trust that we're being guided and we have to trust in the process that the path forward will reveal, the sun will rise, it will eclipse that moon energy, but it's a matter of playing out in divine timing for you. I'm going to leave it there, Saji, and I do hope you enjoyed this reading, keeping in mind it's a general reading for the collective and may or may not be for you in its entirety. Feel free to drop me a comment if you're called to share. I do read them all, guys, and try my best to respond to you over there as well. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy, and see what the collective themes are. It's been a pleasure to read your cards, Saji. I'll see you back here for another one very soon. Bye for now.